Eliminate's Bikini Week is back and bigger than ever. Finally, a sophisticated bikini show where people actually use their heads. She looked like a goldfish sucking on his mouth. Where people are inspired to dream. I want to know one sexual fantasy that you guys have. A threesome. Eliminate, the thinking person's bikini show. It just seemed like tongues were flying everywhere. That was unbelievable. It all starts now. Eliminate. <laughs> My name is Sean and I'm a professional arena football player. When I meet a girl, I don't like to use the fact that I play arena football to try to pick her up. I'd rather to get to know me and who I am rather than the fact that I just play football. You're going to have girls out there that are groupies and that's just not what I want. I'm the type of guy that likes the finer things in life, whether it be my car, my watch, my bracelet, going out to expensive restaurants. I wouldn't mind sharing that with a girl that I care about. When I play arena football, I play hard. But when it comes to the Eliminate arena, these girls are going to have to play hard for me. Eliminate. <laughs> There's nothing better than a beautiful day in Boston. I'm going to stroll around with these girls a little bit down in Quincy Market, then head over to this Cheers bar. I'm not looking for a girl that's going to talk my ear off all night. I'd rather go on a date with a girl and have her not say a word than talk all night. I'm no holds barred. I, I'm not slutty, but I have no problem getting on top of the bar and dancing my ass off. I'm Maya, and I'm a commitment phobe. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm Sean. I'm Maya. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. When it came to Maya, right when she came up to me, I was in awe. She was just beautiful. He's a cutie. Real cutie. Really nice guy. Had a good sense of style. I, I liked him a lot. I would definitely call myself a player. I got a couple booty calls lined up, but I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I'm just looking to have a good time. I'm Kat, and my looks can definitely be deceiving. Hi. Hi. I'm Kat. I'm nice Sean. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. thought he was really good looking. Um, he had really nice eyes. I want a guy with edge. I don't like geeks. I don't like wimps. I want a guy with muscles, dresses nice, and is good to look at. My name is Allison. I'm a traditional kind of girl. Hey. Hello. How are you? I'm Allison. I'm Sean. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. My first impression was I liked his outfit, a nice tight shirt, nice hair, cute eyes. I thought he was a cute guy. I flirt with everybody. I flirt with females. I flirt with my friends. I just It's kind of like that friendliness thing. I'm just a flirt. I'm Melissa, and I'm a kissing slut. <laughs> Hi, Kat, Last and but not least. Hey, how are you? good, how are you? When it came to Melissa, she came up. She was a pretty girl. She was very outgoing, very hands-on. She was, she was a nice girl. I figured we'd take a walk down Faneuil Hall. Sounds good. Okay. What do you do? I am actually a social worker for troubled girls in the area. Oh. Actually, in the North Shore, kind of. How do you like it? It's interesting. Keeps me on my toes. <laughs> I could imagine. <laughs> yeah. A personal trainer. Personal train? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I used to work at a gym. Did you? So, yeah, I like to keep fit, obviously. How about you? What do you I'm a part-time grad student. Uh, Allison looked like a geisha girl, way too much makeup. All right, girls, I figured we go to Cheers. I'm sure you all know this is where it originated. We're going to go in here for a few cocktails, and then from there, we'll see what happens. We came in for a few drinks, and I got to meet these girls. It worked out great. All right, girls, so obviously this is our first date together. I've never met any of you. What do you guys expect on a first date? Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily expect anything. Kind of depends on how the date goes, good, bad, whatever. So you're up for anything, though? Um, pretty much. I gotta, okay, one little thing I gotta admit. I am kind of a kissing slut. Kind of. Kissing's fun. I really enjoy to find out how people kiss. Kissing's fun? Very interesting. So if you can't kiss them, why should they be a second okay. date? You can't. So you kissing, can't kissing's really important to you girls. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't expect that on the first date, but I don't expect, I don't expect anything, but. So you would you would you like to find out if I'm compatible? Yeah, why don't you guys it might pass? be it might work a little bit better. Find out if things, you know, can go any further. <laughs> I'm just curious. Are you gonna be shy about it or do I have I'm to not do shy. It? She said kissing slut, but maybe we should take the kissing out of that phrase right, right, right there. And change it more to just slut. Just change it just to slut. I was a little jealous when Melissa kissed Sean, but when I saw her kiss him, she looked like a goldfish sucking on his mouth. It was disgusting. Okay. That was pretty good. So I want to expand on this <laughs> kissing slut that you said a little bit. I want to like... Use it loosely. Okay, we'll use it loosely. 
Are you talking about? Yeah, really. Yeah. Really <laughs> okay. Are we talking just guys, or have you ever ventured off? Um, have I ever ventured off? I'll have to say yes, because I can't lie. Okay. <laughs> really? So, is this a new experience for you, or is this something that you? Apparently new. It's not like my life ca career. <laughs> It's not something I look for necessarily. What do you guys think of that? It looks more like she'll take whatever she can get. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Venturing off, it seems like you just don't have enough. No, no, none of you would do it with one thing. thing. Sorry. Wow. Anyway, I don't think anyone has right. to kiss you, but all right. I think she's on the wrong show. Sean is. She's not. He's not even her type. She's looking for someone more like me. All right, girls. As far as my greatest achievement that I've ever had it was definitely accomplishing playing professional arena football. What are what are you, some of your achievements that you've had in the past, and what can you improve on that? One of my biggest accomplishments was um, being a second runner-up in Miss Hawaiian Tropic Bikini Contest. Oh, really? State finals, yeah, yeah. So. That was cool. It's definitely a big accomplishment. Yeah, Where was that contest? In uh, New Hampshire, New Hampshire State Finals. I don't see any qualities of a Miss Hawaiian Tropic in her at all. No hair, no makeup, no nothing. You need to have a tan to be Miss Hawaiian Tropic. And I don't think there's any good beaches in New Hampshire. So do you think your body would be your best feature? That my best quality or my best asset is definitely my booty. <laughs> your booty, okay. <laughs> According to my ex-boyfriends. Can I see? Absolutely. If you don't mind. <laughs> I don't know where camera wants to get it, but nice whatever. <laughs> I've been told that I have, my long legs are one of my biggest assets. Guys love my long legs, they say I can do Millions of things with my long legs, especially love them, wrapped around them. So is that something that you could show me? How strong are you? How sh well, that depends. I'm pretty strong. I like to work out. pretty strong, I guess. <laughs> yep, that's it. Pretty strong. Because I got so much muscle on my body. It weighs oh. a lot more than fat. <laughs> Let's see. Ready? Okay, I'm yeah. going to jump. Okay. Okay. Does that work? That works. Jumping up and wrapping your legs around a guy on the first date is probably not the best way to his heart. I was embarrassed for her. Who does that when you first meet a guy after five minutes? I like to actually do crunches like that. Like, oh. I could do that. Like, yeah, you want to move You can do crunches ahead. like that? How many? Yeah. Oh, probably at least like 10. Huh? I like this. This works out. Ready? Yeah. Seems like a lot down. Oh my god. <laughs> I could have jumped on top of him as well and done 50 crunches, but I'm not going to do that. I'm a nice girl. I'm not going to do that on a first date. I guarantee I can beat your ass in a leg press contest. So bring it on after the show. When Maya was doing the crunches on me, it was unbelievable. She's got, you know, a tight body. I was in heaven. Coming up, Sean makes his first cut. And later, it just seemed like tongues were flying everywhere, lips were everywhere. It was, it was unbelievable. Unlimited. <laughs> Who do you think Sean will eliminate first? Melissa, Allison, Maya, or Kat? All right, girls, I'd like to thank you for taking your time out of your day, coming on a date with me. But, uh, you know, I used to think that I liked a girl that didn't talk that much and not a girl that's going to jabber on all night. But uh, I just didn't get to know enough about you. I'm really sorry, but I have to let you go. I'm okay. sorry. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. Yeah. I think that Sean's decision was a good one. I had a fun time, but I think he'll be better with one of the other girls. The reason I cut Allison, you know, she was a little bit plain. I didn't really get to know enough about her. She didn't talk a whole lot. I think Allison could use this time probably to visit a makeup counter and maybe get, you know, get some tips on her makeup. Now that the date's over, I'm going to go out in Boston, have fun, and try and find a real man, the manly man that I like. Here, I'm going to take these girls to exchange to the VIP section, you know, sectioned off a little bit. My type of scene, you know, and we're going to see what we can get out of these girls from that. All right, Melissa, I have a question for you. Uh-oh. All right, we were talking about earlier how, you know, you've had a past situation with another girl, you know. Uh -huh. That's okay. If you had to choose between one of these two girls, 
Who would it be? If I had to choose between one of the girls? And myself. And yourself? Yeah. Well, come on now. There's no competition well, no, no. between yourself. One of those two and myself. Oh, yeah. you just I like that, to. Huh? I like to add a little stir up in the mix. I have to go with her, if anything. With Maya? Yes. Sorry, you guys can take each other. Oh. <laughs> Melissa obviously has not the greatest taste. I think Maya's a good looking girl, but obviously she wanted somebody else a little more bigger boned to hang out with her. I want to go back to a little bit more personal with you guys. I kind of want to know about, you know, what gets, what gets you guys going? You know, what got, you know, when it comes to sex, because I know we're all pretty much open, we've all <laughs> done it before. What kind of gets you going? Um, I'm Melissa. Okay, hey, you me. I'm going to be honest, because in that whole honesty thing, uh, I think sex is overrated. Because I, th I do, I think sex is overrated. Coming, everything yeah, else know. that Thanks. goes around it and comes with it is very, very nice though. Maybe you just haven't had yeah, really good sex. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. But there's other stuff besides it that is like on the whole romantic thing, on the whole. Like, what do you mean, like, other things beyond sex? Um, like foreplay. You know, like, oh, like foreplay. Yeah. So you're just a tease, basically. Kissing slut, foreplay. So have you ever That's had an it. orgasm she, from sex? Mm -hmm. Hmm. With a guy? <laughs> <laughs> Melissa goes, sex is overrated. I mean, hello. <laughs> What's that all about? All right, girls. I want to know the one sexual fantasy that you guys have before you die. What's the one thing you guys want to fulfill? Mm, I would say definitely something like a threesome. Really? Yeah. That would be the very sexual fantasy. Yeah. No, with guys or with girls? With, with a guy and another girl. Melissa, how about you? My sexual fantasy might have to do... Okay, first of all, do you have a car? I do. Okay, okay. that's key. Because my last two, my car, last two guys that I dated didn't have a car. And the car can take us somewhere. Very romantic. I can't say beach, beach is more. Like somewhere like woodsy. What's romantic about a car? I'm saying the car is going to take us somewhere. Okay. I only have a two-seater, though. So we don't need anyone else. Okay. You don't need anyone else if you're with me. Oh. I'm surprised your fantasy doesn't have to do with another girl. Oh! No. Nope. <laughs> Just so do you want to be part of it? So or Yeah. Oh. Want to be part of it. So you want to have a threesome with them two? I don't know. Maybe. This is a new twist. <laughs> mm. This is definitely a new twist. <laughs> <laughs> So you could see this in the short term, possibly. Yeah. Like right now. Like right now? Okay. All right. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go for it. <laughs> oh, let's get close. I don't know. I don't know if it fulfilled too much of a fantasy, but it was it was fun. It was definitely fun. Ready? <laughs> it just seemed like tongues were flying everywhere, lips were everywhere. It was, it was unbelievable. Mm. Well, that puts a twist in things. So did, did that fulfill some of your fantasy so far? Maybe a little bit? A little bit. <laughs> but it can only get better though, right? That's right. what I said earlier, and you guys all questioned me. <laughs> Yeah. What I'm wow, I'm in <laughs> awe right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Triple teamed. <laughs> to get all the girls to come together with me and be open with me and do that four way, because that was just, that was unbelievable. Who will Sean cut next? I think Melissa's getting cut in this round. I don't know if she has everything that Sean wants. I think Kat's gonna get cut this round. Melissa's getting cut in this round because she's gross, she has no sexual fantasies whatsoever, and she's not creative. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is Sean going to eliminate next? Melissa, Maya, or Kat? All right, girls, in the last round, you know, I wanted to leave it up to you girls. So who's gonna go to the next round? You know, I want you guys to feel comfortable. On, you know, we are going into a hot tub. And I'm sorry, Melissa, but I gotta go. I'm sorry. That's all right. I had fun. Thank you very much. I did too. <laughs>
Oh, have fun. If I'm not his last date of the night, that's fine with me. I can go on and find somebody else. <laughs> as long as Kat and Meyer are happy going to the next round with me, I'm going to be happy as well. I don't think the whole sex is overrated went well with Sean, but that's just my opinion. Honestly, I wish Maya the best of luck, and I hope Kat doesn't make it any further. <laughs>